Right now, what we want to do is load some acoustic kits that we can play and trigger with our electronic drums. So we have these electronic kits that were loaded by default in this preset. So I'm actually going to select them. I'll shift, click, hit delete, and it's going to delete all of those patches. So now we don't have any patches at all. Now what we need to do is actually load some empty patches again that we can load an instrument into. So we're gonna hit this little plus button in the patch list. Okay, so now we have an untitled patch, and all I have to do is go down to Patch Library Instrument Drum Kit, and we can choose any one of these drum kits. So I'll start with the top one, and now we have a bit of a different panel once again, and we have an actual drum kit. These are actual sampled drums. We can actually load multiple patches. So let's say I want to have five different kits that I can choose on the fly. Let's go through, bring up four more untitled patches, and we'll go to instrument, and I'll just load a few other kits that I like. So now we have five different kits that we can choose from, and I can just easily select them in the patch list here. Notice I can also select them in the main workspace window as well. So right now I'll just use the patch list on the left to select the drum kit that I want. Now, what we can do at this point and what we really should do is make sure the mapping is correct. So make sure that the MIDI notes we're sending to main stage three are interpreted correctly. And we need to do that for each of our kits here, each of our five kits. So what I'm actually gonna do is go over to the mixer. We have this little input, it says drum kit. If I click on that, we have a window that will come up. We'll talk about this window a bit more later on. But if I open the very bottom panel, we have this input mapping. And I need to set that to V drums. If I don't do that, you know, some of the triggering will work. But some different things like the hi-hat controller and maybe some of the articulations on the cymbals You know, sometimes you're not gonna get the right sound or any sound at all. So you need to make sure the mapping is set correctly for each kit. I'm gonna set this to V drums. And once I do that now, everything should work correctly. Now we need to do that for each and every kit. So again, I'll go to the Brooklyn kit, click on drum kit over here in the mixer, set this to V drums. And another way to get there is actually to right click on one of the parameter knobs in the workspace and say open plugin window. So we already set that one to V drums. So let's go to retro rock. We'll set that to V drums. And once we do this, we can save this entire concert, so we don't have to do this again for this setup. But you wanna make sure for each kit you do set the mapping to V-Drums. Now I'm using a rolling controller and with the default settings in the rolling controller, it worked just fine. However, I do have a document that has the actual notes that Main Stage 3 typically maps to. So if you're using a different controller, you can set your module to these MIDI notes so it sends out the MIDI notes that would be interpreted correctly by main stage three when you use this V-Drum setting. So now I can go to any kit, should be able to play and everything should work correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play through each kit very briefly so you can hear uh, each kit and also see how easy it is to switch from one kit to another.
Right, so that's just a quick run through of the kits. Now you'll notice the kits have very different sounds and levels of volume between you know the instruments on the kit pieces. So cymbals may be louder in some of the kits, the bass drum, the toms. We can adjust all of that. We'll talk about that in a later video. But at this point, now that we kind of have a few kits loaded, we have our patch list, we have everything set up so that the mapping is correct. Let's go ahead and save this and that way we can load it again at a later time. So if I already saved this main stage for eDrums, I'm gonna just hit save again. If you had not saved at this point, you could save as and name your concert. I'm actually gonna close main stage three here. If we go down to my concerts, we can see main stage for eDrums. So now I can just load that. Next time I load up main stage three, and it will use that as a starting point. Now I'll have my five kits. And if we go into the plugin settings here, we can see that the V drum mapping is still in place. That's the main thing. So now I have my five kits that I can choose at any time. The mapping is correct. So if I were using this for performance, I could bring it up, I'm ready to go. I've already configured most of what I need. Now we still haven't gone into the mixer or talked about effects or adjusting the relative volume between different instruments. We'll do that in the next several videos. But at this point, you can see where you can get a starting point and do a little bit of work on the front end so that you can load up these presets very quickly and you're ready to go on your electronic drums for live performance.